Rich Harrington with Photo Focus. We've stopped by Nikon's booth, and one of the things that caught my eye, I'm a big fan of space. My dad was actually a NASA engineer, so I have a soft spot for all things NASA. And I see that you guys are continuing your long tradition of working with the space program. Tell me some of the things that you guys are up to. All right, well, that's great. So one of the most recent things is we're working with NASA as part of a Space Act agreement to help provide the Nikon Z9 as part of the Artemis program. Uh, as you know, so Artemis program is humankind's return to the moon. Which is um, gonna be important for us. Oh, it's gonna be huge. So that that's gonna be, it, it's gonna be a combination of both uh, in orbit, or in space around the moon, but also on the lunar surface. Yeah. So what we have here is we have a Nikon Z9 within the thermal blanket designed by NASA. Okay. And uh, this is what's gonna really help the camera survive both in the vacuum and the really harsh temperature swings of the lunar environment and, and space. And it is, since the cameras have last actually been on the surface of the moon, a lot of camera tech has changed. I mean, we're going to be seeing images that just blow away what we've captured. They're going to the... absolutely blow you away. I mean, I think, well, you know, it's amazing just in the last 10 years, the imagery we've been seeing come out of space. Yeah. Um, and I think what also has been great is if, you, if you're seeing what's going on in the International Space Station right now, right. Uh, the astronauts up there who have Z9 and all the Nikkor lenses are sending back such amazing images and time lapse of space and, and our own Earth you know, from a totally different angle, it's just absolutely mind blowing. But have we ever even had a digital camera on the surface of the moon? I know we've been taking pictures from all over the place, but I think the last cameras on the moon's surface were all film, weren't they? That is a great question. One I'm not uh, knowing for sure. I know the uh, uh, United States hasn't been back to the moon in some time since digital cameras have, uh, you know, come into prevalence. But I think this is uh, really going to be the first chance to really document it in such high, high resolution. And, and I love, I could see that, that the simplified controls, but how these are mapping back. That, that's wonderful. So. Yeah, so it's actually really interesting because this, this blanket is designed both to have the controls on the back, but also to be used by um, astronauts when they're wearing the big thick gloves yeah. of space. So what you don't see inside here, there's actually a custom grip with controls on it too that is used by the astronauts. Very cool. And um, if you, I mean, obviously design takes a lot of iterations, but can you tell us anything about this design process? I imagine you had to work with actual astronauts and kind of work through the whole system. Well, our engineers work closely with NASA engineers um, in terms of the specifics on it. And then there's a lot of training that goes into it as well on the NASA side. Well, very cool. Congratulations. And uh, I look forward to seeing the images as they start to come back. Thank you. We can't wait either to see what happens. Do we have a timeline of when we think this will start uh, We seeing don't images? have a timeline. I know NASA uh, will definitely announce what the official Artemis timeline is. And the ISS, you'll already see the camera up there. And uh, great photographers like Don Pettit are sending back amazing images already. Awesome. Well, we'll be sure to put links to some of those space station images that are coming back and keep an eye on the story continues to grow. Great, thank you. Thanks.